All right, it wasn't easy, but I finally got one. An A2000 for, shoot, I mean, it was at Micro Center for 650 bucks. You know, these things have gone up quite a bit since uh, the original, like 450 bucks or 500 bucks or there came out as. But uh, let's open it up and check it out. As you guys can see, I haven't even uh, opened the box yet, so I will get a knife out and cut that baby open. All right, it's cut open. Let's see what this baby looks like. Okay, so this is what you get in an A2000 box. Uh, it's like it's like clear clear plastic wrapped all together. That must be the little card. So I'm gonna need two hands to open this baby up because it's like a saran wrap on it, as you guys can see. So I'll cut that open and uh, check it out. Okay, so I got the plastic off. Let's see if this is a little accessory pack or something. Boop. Let's see. I'll just dump it out in the box. Okay. Comes with a little instruction booklets. All right, and then with all your display port adapters. And a faceplate. Okay. And that is a full faceplate, so I wonder if it has a little mini faceplate on it. Or any faceplate. Go ahead and pull the actual card out. If that's gonna let me do it. Okay, so it has a little mini faceplate on it. In the factory, huh? Dude, this baby is tiny. That is too cool. We got a little baby guy. I don't know if you guys can see for reference, but like my hand is just monstrous compared to it. A little baby fan. It's a little baby fan. It's like a quarter. Or a half dollar size. I am so excited. I'm about to test this thing out, see what it hashes at. Maybe I'll try a couple games on it. I don't really know yet. But uh, yeah, let's let's check it out. Okay, so I am gonna run some benchmarks and some game tests on this thing. So first things first, I gotta take off this bracket. And take it from a low profile card to a normal profile card, which would be this bracket right here. So let me do that really quick and I'm going to stick it into my computer. Alright, I got this bracket on. Now yeah, this baby's ready to go. I'll uh, have to shut this thing down though. It's got a 237s and a 3080 Ti in it. Uh, 38 Ti and the 237s are in there, so I gotta shut this down, take all this out, and then put this little A2000 in there, and let's see how she does. Super stoked. All right, I got those other 32 set or 3070s out, but look at this. Look how smaller this thing is in a 3070, and a 3070 really isn't all that big of a card. Craziness, man! How much power they packed in such a small package. Well, well, we'll find out how much power they packed into this small package. Just thought that was interesting. All right, in she goes. Boop. There it is. Just in there. No power connectors, no nothing. Let's see how this baby performs. All right, it's on in there. And uh, came up as an A2000 right away. So I'm gonna get into Steam and I'm gonna run Time Spy and let's see what kind of score this uh, A2000 gets in Time Spy. Yeah, I got my hardware monitor open and I'm gonna run Time Spy. Let's just see what kind of frames this puppy gets right away. Really interested to see how much power they can pack into such a small package. I mean, that thing is small. It is legit not much bigger than the um, PCI slot itself, if you look. 
like right there is kind of a good example. So you can see a PCI slot, and you can see the card. I mean, it's it's about as big as that dang PCI slot. So um, I think that's crazy. All right, so here it goes. Not bad. 35 frames. Not bad at all. 41 frames. I have a wall meter actually right here. It's only pulling 177 watts at the wall, the whole rig. My lord, that's a. Uh, Less than most cards pull themselves. So uh, I'm going to let this run. It's like getting 40 as, as that person's walking around. I'm going to let it run and I will um, resume the video once it gets a score. And uh, we'll see what the score is. Okay, so we got a graphic score of 5,891. 5, That's not too bad for the... Uh, package in there. Um, I think that's pretty close to a 6600. Um, the temps did get to 86 it looks like on the max. Uh, it's sitting around 62 right now on the memory and the hotspot got to 89. GPU got to 73 so I'm going to try a couple other games. I'm going to try Halo Infinite see what kind of frames you get on that and then we will try mining with it and see what kind of mining performance to expect out of this thing. So, um, not fantastic numbers, but not horrible. Definitely not horrible. Okay, so here's Halo um, with the VRAM usage almost maxed out and um, all the settings are on high, 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 except for uh, decal quality is on medium, animation quality is on auto, everything else is on high. Uh, we got 90 frames right now in the menu, but that's not saying much. So let's see what this thing gets in game. Okay, I'm in. And uh, I'm getting like 90 frames. 91 frames. I, I mean, this is, this is super impressive. I mean... <laughs> Like that's 93 solid frames right there, 90 frames. I don't know if you guys can see the little frame counter up there, 100 frames. Now there's no one in this game or anything, I'm just playing it myself. Um, it's right around 90 to 100 frames. And I try to get like a big level, one that you know, you get to really see. I'm on 100 frames right now, I'm just running around. It's kind of hard to play with one hand, but Man, dude, if you want to play Halo Infinite at a good time on high, and this is 2K, like this is this isn't 2K, this is definitely um, this is definitely worth it for sure. 120 frames. I mean, this is this is phenomenal. I thought I was gonna get like 40 frames out of it, and I'm getting like 90 to 110 uh, jaw drop, just jaw drop. So. Um, Cool. See what the, see what the hash rate is on this baby. For that last Halo test, the only thing I did do to the GPU was leave the fan on 100%, and it looks like it did bring down the temps quite a bit. So uh, let's see what it mines at and uh, what temps the temps go to. All right, I set my clock to 1450, 100% on the fan. I don't really know what to do to the power limit. I'm pretty sure it's going to need 100% of its power. Let's see what we get. See if it crashes or if we get something here. All right, we're getting something. Watch the temperatures. See what the hash rate is, the temperature. Ooh, 70 C already. And this is my first time trying to mine on this, so. Oh, Dag did pass. So, 1450 seems like a good clock. It says it's using 100% GPU powers. 
Okay, so the first one's coming in at 37.77 at 70 watts. I think it just takes it a little bit to ramp up. Let's see what the second one comes in at. Oh, just got the kernel selected. Thirty-eight point two. Okay. Maybe that's because my monitor's hooked up to it. Probably drawing a little bit of the uh, hash rate down. To be honest, I know thirty seventies are real touchy like that. Like my thirty ninety or not thirty ninety uh, six nine hundred XT doesn't really care what you're doing all that much. But like the thirty seventy or. Um, 3060 Ti's, they definitely care. So, 37.78, looks like it's going down a little bit. And I'm thinking that's just, like I said, it's because my, uh, my monitor. So, um, I wonder what it's pulling at the wall. It is pulling... 159 watts at the wall and my rig takes about 90 watts by itself so yeah about 60 70 watts it's just not bad not bad at all um, I'm getting those actual uh, PCIe power meters so I will put it on a power meter when I get one of those in a future video maybe not this A2000 but I'm getting some 12 gig A2000s in that I want to do some testing on as well and maybe those uh, will perform a little bit better. Oh, um, it's getting 88C on the memory at 100%, so that's not horrible. It's definitely not horrible. Uh, well, I don't know if that's thermal throttling or if that's just, uh, you know, because I have a monitor plugged into it. So what I'm actually gonna do now is uh, pull this thing out of the computer unhook the monitor from it and put it on a riser and see if that just makes any difference or not. Alright, this thing is mining at 41 mega hash and 68 watts it says. Yeah, it was because I had a 2K screen plugged into it. You can see how much it takes down on the uh, 3070, you know. But yeah, I'm, I'm stoked with that. 69 watts and 41.3 mega hash. My uh, my clocks are just 1450 on the MIM and 100% on the fan. That's it. That's it. 41 mega hash at 69 watts. Can't be much more happy than that right now. Unless Intel really comes out with 30 mega hash at 30 watts, then you know that'll be freaking nuts. So, but this is awesome. Have it just sitting on a riser right there. And I've been actually using these new 10 capacitor risers from Amazon, and I absolutely love them. Um, they got little flashing lights on it. You can turn those on and off, but the width of this is just amazing uh, because it's, it's, it's a lot wider. So as you can see, like the plugs are accessible, and I can just have that GPU stand there just in the riser. My other risers were too thin for that. You know, you breathe on them wrong, they'd fall over. So I like that so far. And these are 10 capacitor instead of six or four, or whatever the other ones are. Um, I haven't had any problems with any freezing or any instability. So, so far these are great. And I uh, could not recommend an A2000 more at this moment. They're really hard to get, really expensive, but man, they do pack a punch for the size that they are. Um, let's see what the memory is. It says 86 in this software, but let me check it in the software real quick and hardware monitor. Let's see what kind of temps we're looking at with it sitting out there. Seventy, seventy. Did I miss it? Okay, so, okay. solid 88. So, I mean, that's not bad. It's not really cool in this room. It's about 78 in here. So, if that doesn't go over 88, I mean, I'm, I'm stoked with that. Um, really, really am. And it's just a solid 41.31. I mean, 
that's just awesome. So that said, my first A2000, I have many, many more to come, and I will be testing out the 12 gig versus the 6 gig A2000. Uh, I'll run it again in Time Spy and maybe a couple more games in Halo, and I'll do a, a more in-depth video, but I wanted just to get this video out. This is my first A2000, and uh, one of the hardest GPUs to really acquire right now, it seems like. So, uh, until next time.